the years, we've seen a lot of tremendous progress for Bybot Pro, and this is part of why this tool is one of the top deal analysis choices for Amazon sellers. Bybot Pro is an Amazon software champion. Now, what makes up this progress is the long list of implemented features that makes your deal analysis easy, quick, and gives you a lot to work with so you can make a very confident decision about what you're buying and selling on Amazon, which I'm sure you'll agree is absolutely crucial. Now, several months ago, we introduced you to the new user interface, the next version of Bybot Pro, which was basically the tool rebuilt from the ground up so it can be smoother than ever, faster than ever, uh, with a lot of added features that makes this tool an even better fit for you and your business. Now, over the past few months, we've been listening to your feedback and we've made more changes to make this the very best version of Bybot Pro ever. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is the difference between the new version and the classic version of Bybot Pro, and that's what I'm going to do with you today in this video. I'm going to go through these differences so you can see what those are exactly and how the new user interface is such a powerful tool to have by your side. So let's start off by looking at the calculator. So uh, this version of the calculator, it's great, it's a classic. Uh, with the new version, we have made it easier for you to choose your fulfillment fee. You can just choose it from the list here. Of course, the preference settings will still apply, uh, just the same as they did in the classic one. So if your preference is Merchant Fulfilled and you, you can set then your settings, it will automatically load up with Merchant Fulfilled selected. But of course, if you want to go ahead and change that, it's a lot easier to do so within here. And we have EFN and PAN in here if you needed to choose those. Um, here, it's all in separate toggles. So this just helps tidy up that calculator a little bit more. Um, with the VAT override, obviously, we understand that some of you use this quite frequently. So uh, with this, this, you would have to open it up whenever you uh, wanted to use the VAT override for the buy price or overall. Here, they are both available to you right off the bat, but if you personally don't use them very much, we've added an option to condense this so you just have the basic calculator look. We've also got some extra little bits in here, such as currency conversion options, and the rates here are updated frequently as well. This is something that wasn't available in the classic look of Bybot Pro. Also, on that note, I just wanted to say the new version of Bywalk Pro does not require you to click analyze. It auto analyzes straight away. Whereas with this version, it was a setting that you could toggle on. Um, but before that was even a thing, you would have to one click, which wasn't a problem. But uh, now there's no need to click whatsoever. It analyzes as soon as as the page loads up on Amazon. So that's the calculator. I also want to note here that we added the overview just to give you a nice little look at some uh, key aspects of the item right off the bat. Um, and also we added in the quick info section, which is basically um, a in-panel version of Biobot Pro Island. Okay, so you can see some quick essential bits of information, uh, quick essential analytical bits, and basically it's your choice. You can have Bybot Pro Island, which is separate to the panel, and you get the little bonus of having the confidence score there. Um, alternatively, you know, if you don't want the island, if you don't want any extra windows outside of the Bybot Pro panel, you can of course turn off Bybot Pro Island in your settings and keep the quick info or vice versa. You might prefer the island and you don't want it in your panel, that's fine. We now have this extra choice there. Um, so it's up to you what you want to do. You can have quick info, Bybot Pro Island or both if you really want both. Uh, the confidence score, this has seen a bit of a change as well. So the confidence score was originally uh, looking like this. And something about the confidence score that kind of um, sort of went kind of under the radar was the fact that if you hover over the confidence score, it gives you three key things to consider about the item uh, just, just, for your, just for your knowledge to make sure that you know this key stuff before you make your decision. Now, because it was a hover only deal in the classic user interface, it meant that these things went unseen at times. So what we did was we tidied it up a little bit. Uh, so we have the confidence score here. It's a bar and it fills up dependent on you know how confident it is. I think this is a great way to um, visually gauge the confidence score, the suggested purchase quantity, and those three 
key aspects are now displayed for you here. So you don't have to hover over anything to get this information. It is just there for you. And there is a bit of an elaboration as well if you do hover over these points. But the main thing is you can see them now right off the bat without needing to hover over anything to find this extra crucial information. Um, some other aspects that we added into the new user interface is the Bible Pro AI analysis. Now, this is something that is not available in the classic user interface. As far as AI is concerned, it basically uh, was within this confidence got and suggested purchase quantity. But in the new user interface, we've been able to take this further. That's what the new user interface has allowed us to do just due to its construction where we start advanced analysis and it's going to have a look at this product for us and analyze. So essentially we don't have to, and it will bring us a list of points for us to consider. They can be things that are considered dangerous about the item. We have some alerts just to be wary of, and we also have some good points as well. So we don't necessarily need to come to these conclusions through you know, having a look through everything in the panel. It's now so much easier with these conclusions being made for us. Um, and there may be things in here that we didn't even consider when looking through the listing. If we want a bit more of a breakdown, we can of course open that up and it will give us a bit more of an in-depth description. So the AI analysis is completely unique to the new user interface. The competition analysis has also seen some changes as well. So let's go look at it here. So there's several changes with this, uh, which just really improves this functionality. So in the classic user interface, you were limited to the top 10 sellers, and that is it. With the new user interface, we now have the capabilities of looking beyond just the top 10, and you can look at all um, of the sellers that are on this listing and all of the information to do with them and it will go on for however long, dependent on how many sellers are on this particular listing. We also have the option to switch between live data and recent. Now recent is where it digs into um, historical keeper data to bring you some historical elements of the competition. So you can switch between the two. What you can also do is download the competition information into a spreadsheet for whatever reason you may want that information for. Um, also, as you'll see, there's a couple of visual tidy ups as well with the um, totals here put right next to each other like this, which makes this section uh, a little bit cleaner. Uh, and as I say, the big thing here is that you can see details about everyone on the listing. Another improvement to Bybot Pro is the variations feature. Now this was external to the main panel in Classic Bybot Pro and feedback we'd get about this was it was just another window that was external to the main panel and sometimes because it started out as this rectangle it could get a little bit lost amongst all of the other information on the Amazon page. So you tap show variations and then it would produce a table for you with uh, information about each of the variations of this particular item. So colors, sizes, and so forth to help us make a decision on you know which variation is, is worth looking at over which ones. This has now been brought into the main Bywatt Pro panel, so it's easier to see, easier to access. And when you're logged into your Amazon account to fetch the review data, you will be able to get some charts that visually display the information in the table here. The dashboard and alerts were merged into one, and it also takes up less space in the panel. And it means that you can just see these things a lot quicker and in one nice space. In Classic Bybot Pro, the dashboard and alerts were separate and in list form, which meant that sometimes you'd have to scroll down to see some of these things, and it just takes up a little bit more space in the panel. So it's now a bit neater, and you get all of this information right away. You can see it as soon as Bybot Pro loads up. Something that you all love is the fact that we have lots of chart options available to you. In Classic Bybot Pro, we had the mini charts and the on-page charts. The mini charts would have the main sales chart and the offers and reviews chart. In the new user interface, you have the option to have all of those charts available as a mini version, and you can customize this uh, within your settings or indeed minimize whichever charts you don't particularly want to see right away. So you have a lot more um, customization options with 
the mini charts in the new user interface. And in the new user interface, you have the addition of the sell price line in your main sales chart. This is something that wasn't available in the classic sales chart. The on-page charts have seen a few visual touch-ups to make things clearer, more crisp, and the day range options are now a bit more obvious than what they were. As you can see, the difference here and here. Something you could do with the multi-market analyzer was hover over a marketplace flag and get a keeper version of the sales chart. This is just down to your preference if you like to see things in this kind of format. Now, if you moved away from it, the keeper chart would disappear. And in the new version, looking at the keeper chart is that bit easier because if you click on a marketplace flag, it will then pop up below. So no more hovering over and losing it. You can have that there to analyze in depth without losing it. If you are also a Profit Protector Pro user in the classic user interface, of course, we have the well-known integration. In the new user interface, it works essentially the same, except we now have the option to add an automation as well as a strategy min price and max price when you're setting up for repricing. Google Sheets and Google Sheet Export has seen a massive improvement between the classic version and the new version. So the classic version, you would add your Google Sheet in the settings. So in here, you'd add it in and to change things like the uh, IDs and names and so forth, you would have to scroll along and make those changes in here. For customization, you tap customize and what you'd have to do is basically rearrange like so. So if we wanted them like this, we'd have to type in uh, whichever column we wanted that factor in and we'd have to go back and forth between the Google Sheets to make sure that it is going into the right place and then make those tweaks. Then you'd have to go through and make sure that you hadn't accidentally say entered in the same letter um, into uh, multiple fields as that was causing some issues with Google Sheets. Now it is super simple. You can even create a Google Sheet from within Bybot Pro. That's something you couldn't do before. So you can make a sheet and add the headers in. This again, wasn't available in the classic version. All of the headers you'd have to manually add in once you've linked up your Google Sheet um, with which bit of information. So you'd have to follow this list and manually enter in each of these aspects into your Google Sheet. Now those headers can be automatically added in if you choose to do so when you make a new sheet from within Bybot Pro. For customization, it's a lot easier. All of the fields are laid out here for you and you can just drag, drop, move them around. You can clear and add, the, drag and drop them in uh, manually. Uh, in whatever order you want these uh, these aspects in. You can have it as the default, you can add in more and even duplicate some of this information if you wanted to see it again at the end of your row. Customization, adding in sheets, so much easier and you can even save some of these customization options um, as an arrangement that will then pop up in here. So significant improvements for the Google Sheets export, much easier to manage in the Google Sheets manager um, as opposed to here in the settings. So this has seen one of the biggest changes in Bybot Pro. And don't forget in the new version of Bybot Pro, you can access the web view, which is Bybot Pro as a website essentially. So you can analyze everything nice and big, all of those same key, analytical features and you can open up the charts nice and big on this page as well and see them even bigger than ever before. You have a new dashboard that will tell you the amount of scans you've done with Bybot Pro. So in case you're on a smaller plan with a limited number of scans, you can keep an eye on how many scans are being done with Bybot Pro. There's also the new feedback section where you can submit any potential bug reports directly to the development team. So you don't have to go through the main support channel if you don't want to. You can report technical issues directly to the developers and they'll be able to grab all of the information about that technical issue from the feedback report. Meaning solutions are implemented quicker than ever before. So with the classic version of Bybot Pro, it used to be that the virtual assistant would need your Bybot Pro associated email and your license key in order to access Bybot Pro. And some users felt uncomfortable with giving out things like the license key and so forth. Uh, now we 
upgraded this so when a virtual assistant signs in you can set this up for them so that they will need the bible pro associated email and then all they need to do is enter in their own virtual assistant email and then the password that you have set for them in the virtual assistant manager this helps keep your bible pro key information safe and so as you can see from the web view that we had open before and the virtual assistants version of this they can't access any areas of Bybot Pro that may contain sensitive information for you and your business, your Bybot Pro account, and any essential settings that you wouldn't necessarily want changed. You can also dictate whether or not a virtual assistant has access to um, exporting to Google Sheets from within your virtual assistant manager now, which is something that you couldn't do before. Another cool thing you can do with the new user interface is when you have Bible Pro stuck to the left or the right side of your screen, you can actually drag it out to expand it. So you, maybe you can see things a bit bigger, have things side by side. It's completely up to you how you'd want to do that. And this is something that you couldn't do before in the classic view. If you're making that transition from the classic Bybot Pro to the new one, you may like this new design function that we've added in where you can change the new user interface to look a little bit more retro like the classic version of Bybot Pro whilst maintaining all of those essential improvements of the new user interface. So you can change that with this button at the top or you can go into your settings head on over to design and choose between old and new. It's still the new user interface just with that classic look to it. And those are the key differences between the new user interface and the classic version of Bybot Pro, which I'm sure you'll agree has a lot of improvements that make Bybot Pro better than ever before. Thank you for watching.